That's gonna just look creepy. <laughs> Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Tori back with another video and today I'm hopping on the trend because quarantine and I like to cook. So we are going to be doing healthy TikTok recipes. <laughs> I'm really excited and literally all of them are sweet and pretty much all of them have chocolate in it. Because I have a sweet tooth. <laughs> so anyways. I wrote all the instructions down on a piece of paper because I'm not patient enough to pause and watch a video, no ma'am. So, the first thing we're going to be making is um, chia pudding. I've always wanted to try it because it looks so goopy and honestly, I just want to play with it. Is that weird? Probably. So, I have a mason jar. I have chia seeds. And I need to get cow juice. I'm here. Anyways, okay. Two tablespoons of chia seeds. I don't like measuring stuff because our measuring cups you have to hand wash and <laughs> I'm lazy. So, my chia seeds, they're organic because I'm fancy. So she said two tablespoons. So, one. Two, love it. All right, half a cup. I wrote cow juice because it's supposed to be milk, but I have almond milk because we're trying to be healthy. So, you know, silk almond milk, love that. Yes, this work it. All right, so half a cup. I got my little measuring thingy. So we're just gonna, y'all can't see that. Ah, move! So we're just, how can I do this and not look like a fool? The answer is I can't. Is that? Y'all, I'm a genius. Well, kind of, I'm just gonna add a splash more. Splash. Okay, so we have half a cup of of, bro, I'm, I suck at this. Half a cup of almond milk. Fine camera, don't focus, it's whatever. So I'm just gonna pour this into the can, or the jar. Stir. Actually, I'm not gonna stir yet, I'm gonna put the rest of the ingredients. All right. So then, it says we need to put, I lost my place. Half a teaspoon of vanilla. We're just gonna put a dash because again, I'm lazy and don't wanna do dishes. Oh, um, that was a little more than a dash, but it's okay. And then, you know, sis said maple syrup, but I don't wanna use maple syrup. We have some honey. So she says, let's see, sis says two tablespoons. All right, so now um, that my hands are sticky and we have everything in the bowl, we're gonna mix, 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 become friends. All right, so we have our little mixture. My hands are extremely sticky. This, um, all right, we're gonna pop the lid on her and microwave her, not microwave, bro. Why am I like this? We're gonna let her sit. We're gonna let her sit in the fridge. Sis is gonna chill for about an hour at least, but you know, I'm gonna be extra and give her a little bit more time. Yes. Okay, lastly we have the chia seed pudding to try. guys it's not supposed to be juicy so this was gonna be my breakfast but um that looks not like it's supposed to I don't know if it's because I use silk milk but 
we'll try it later with like actual dairy milk instead of almond milk. Who knows? Maybe like some chemical reaction or some shit. I don't know. So this is what it looks like. But I don't like to waste stuff. So we're gonna drink it. I'm um, just just stay right here for a second. Wow, that angle. Okay, wow, I'm so strong. It smells so bad. Okay, so that's what it looks like on the inside. I don't know if y'all can like see that. I don't know if it focused on it, but we're just gonna cheers. Uh-uh. Negative five stars. I'll okay, so this next one I'm super excited for. It's healthy brownies, and if these taste good and like brownies, thank you. I will forever love you. Oh my gosh, I'm so I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> so first thing we do is we're gonna do three fourths cup yogurt. I have Greek yogurt, so that's what we're going to use. Um, so, we're just going to take you off. I don't know why I saw it. Okay. So, we got... I just want to mix it because she's a little juicy. Um, okay. You're great at planning, Tori, because this definitely isn't three-fourths cup. Can we work with half a cup? Is that okay? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm so proud of you, yogurt. That was, that was a very close call, my friends. Don't worry, my hands are clean. That was a very close call, but it is literally, I don't know if you can, See that, bro? It's literally right at three-fourths. Thank you, God. So, we're going to put this in our um, bowl. So, in you go. Okay, so next we have to add a fourth a cup of milk. We're using this because since we already used it in the recipe. So, whatever. So again, I'm not using cow juice because, and I'm, I, I call milk cow juice. I don't know if that's weird, but it's fine. Um, I literally lost my place for like the 50th time. Okay, a fourth a cup. So we're just gonna, yes, I'm the measurement queen, bro. In you go. There, yes, love it. Okay. So now we need one and a half cups oat flour. Um, so I have oats, um, the Quaker kind, just saying. And we're gonna have to blend them. And now that I think about it, this is actually almost empty, so we'll see if it works. Okay, so I realized I had to blend a little more. Some of these are chunky, but it's fine. We love chunky. So one and a half cups going in all right now we need half a cup of cacao powder so sis just bought this so excited um i might you know maybe this pouring method isn't a good idea but we're just gonna go sis go bro i'm the freaking measuring queen i'm not even joking all right cacao powder going in now, we need a teaspoon of baking powder that I completely forgot to get. All right, we're back in business, baby. Okay, so a teaspoon of baking powder. Again, I'm lazy about dishes, so that looks like a teaspoon, right? We're just maybe, maybe a little bit more. Okay, there we go. And then we need half a cup of Splenda. Sis doesn't have Splenda, so we're going to use sugar, which... 
you all remember my other video, we have them in these little can thingies that I love. So let's move you over for a second, Sis. We need half a cup. So this is literally about to be really unhealthy. It was already unhealthy, so what are you talking about? So we're just gonna... Bro! Measuring queen! All right, back in here. Yes, we need an egg. Oh, I'm sorry, egg. Okay, and then we just need a dash of salt. Salt all the way over here. So just there, two dashes. And then we mix our um, goop. Okay, so it's all a mix. I added some uh, dark chocolate. Added some dark chocolate chips in there too, because if you're gonna have chocolate, you need to have chocolate. So the next thing to do is to put it in this pan thingy that I'm lining with parchment paper. But your girls um, just figured out that she forgot to preheat the oven. So you're supposed to preheat it to 400 degrees. So that's what we're doing right now. So, sis might have to chill a little bit. Um, I'll come back to y'all, you know, see y'all when it's ready. I did not video me putting it in the oven and baking it because my camera was running out of storage. So, just imagine it in your mind. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to taste test the healthy brownies. Um, I'm pretty sure I overcooked them because I didn't think it was cooked. And so, I put it in for an extra five minutes. And now it's kind of hard. So um, we're just going to grab a little slice that I cut. Ooh, gooey. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, nice. It's pretty good, but like I just can't really taste the chocolate. Like the only chocolate I taste are the little um, chocolate chips that I put on top. So I don't know, but it's like it's. I mean, it's really great. I mean, it, it's a good substitute for a brownie. So y'all should definitely try this one if y'all are craving brownies but want to stay healthy. Now we're gonna cook the last thing, which is peanut butter cups. So, we need one cup of peanut butter. So I guess I'll just like that. And now, we put it in the, let me get a napkin. Now, we put our peanut butter into this bowl. We need a fourth a cup of flour. I'm using whole wheat flour because we had it and yeah. Uh, oh, that could have been bad. Okay, um, I don't really know how I'm gonna go about this. And then, oh. Oh, okay. We're spilling like literally half of this. Is that a fourth of a cup? Yes, it is, because I'm the measuring queen. Into the bowl it goes. That. 
All right. And then we put a little bit of agave. I don't have that, so we're using honey. And so I'm using the same honey because it's great. And we're just going to like... <laughs> now that we have that in the bowl, we mix. Mix, mix, mix. Oh, jeez. Okay, now that our mixture is mixed, we have to roll them into balls and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna use this flour that fell on the stove, the clean stove and coat my hand, that barely coated it, but whatever. So then we're gonna just. Just so you know, I would totally suggest putting flour in your hands before forming the peanut butter balls cause those are sticky. Now some of the footage got lost, but after you make the peanut butter balls, you pop them in the freezer for at least 20 minutes. I would suggest a little bit more, but yeah, I don't know why that footage got lost. Okay, so I got the peanut butter cup balls out of the freezer, and next we need to melt our chocolate. We're using dark chocolate because one, it's healthier and two, it's delicious. And we're just gonna microwave it in this bowl. Okay, so we have our chocolate melted and now we just take our little peanut butter stuff things and cover it in chocolate. I definitely did not put enough chocolate in here. And we put them back on the plate. And then we do that to all of them. And then we put them in the freezer. So, all right, y'all. So it's the next day. I stopped filming because family time and that was oh, too much sweetness for yesterday. So here we are. We're gonna get these that have been freezing overnight. So they should be like nice and crunchy. We're gonna put them in. I'll get this one because it's not as pretty. Oh, come on. Okay. Let me probably flip it. I'm trying the Reese's that I made. Mm hmm Look at that. Honestly, I could probably do another layer of chocolate, but that took like all my chocolate chips yesterday, so. Mm-hmm. And this one's good. You need to try this one. This one's this one's good. This is really good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Love it. This was great. Five stars. Five out of five stars. On Yelp. Quote Cody. Yeah, that five stars. I totally recommend that. Straight Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Um, it was pretty good. I got to eat a whole bunch of food. <laughs> Anyways, I recommend the all the recipes that I tried today except for the chia pudding because that was juice with seeds in it. Whatever. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know if I already said that, but I'm going to say it again. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe because that helps me out. And your girl's just trying to get to 100, my guy. Like, yeah. And hopefully there will be more videos more consistently. The amount of time I've said that in videos is crazy. But I promise this time and I don't break my promises. So I love y'all and I will see y'all in the next video. Mwah.